This machine drives on two large screws, and it can move around anywhere. Snow, mud, even water. But why was this machine even created in the first place? Back in the Soviet Union, engineers and scientists were committed to sending the first cosmonauts to space on a regular basis. But once cosmonauts were done with their space missions, they came back to Earth in capsules, which could land anywhere in the Union. In reality, they often landed in the most uninhabited, impassable and wild places where the regular vehicle wouldn't drive and rescue the astronauts. Therefore, to reach the place where cosmonauts landed, rescuers needed a unique machine that could traverse any terrain, no matter what. This creation is the answer to the problem, ZIL-2906. With a length of 4 meters, Weighing 1.7 tons with the full tanks, it can travel for up to six hours on every type of land, but primarily on soft, low-bearing ground and surfaces. Speaking of the surface, it performs quite well, especially in the snow, reaching 15 to 20 miles per hour. On marshy terrain, it could reach 5 to 10 miles per hour. But this was better than nothing. One cylinder turns clockwise and the other counterclockwise. This way they cancel each other out, which allows the vehicle to move forward, backward, sideways or turn around, depending on the direction they rotate. It can even drift. Those screws are pretty durable to allow that. They're made of aluminum, but fun fact is, they're hollow inside. Don't let it fool you. Despite being hollow, they have several transverse bulkheads that divide them into several watertight compartments. In case they get punctured or damaged, they won't be completely flooded. Only one compartment will be. Both of those screws have two rotors with individual tanks. In case one breaks down, the other can continue their movement. If two of them break down, well, they'll have to wait for another screw-like rescue vehicle. Legend says the vehicle was pretty loud and could make you a little deaf. This machine was only part of search and rescue complex, which includes the Blue Bird Carrier, Medivac and other cargo transport. The screw-driven vehicle loads into the body of the Blue Bird for transferring to the terrain where Zill is needed. When they arrive to the destination, Zill is unloaded with special hydraulic lifts and then it goes to rescue the cosmonauts. Once it finds missing men, they come back to the rescue point and proceed from there to the nearest base. But it still had some issues before it could start operating. 37 horsepower in each screw wasn't enough to fully rotate these routes and move somewhere. Therefore, over time, Engineers were swapped three times before screws could reach 70 horsepower each and finally start moving. Of course, the fuel consumption was doubling too. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Russia no longer made screw-propelled vehicles. However, the remaining vehicles still conduct search and rescue operations in distant lands where no human can survive for long. There is one Australian company that produces these screw-like vehicles called Residue Solutions. They manufacture mad master machines which are needed in muddy areas of construction sites. Even now, this technology is very much needed in the modern world. <laughs>